and you work hard, those times when you stay up late and you work hard, those times when you don't feel like working, you're too tired, you don't want to push yourself, but you do it anyway. Um, that is actually the dream. That's the dream. It's not the destination, it's the journey. And if you guys, if you guys can understand that, then what you'll see happen is that you won't accomplish your dreams. Your dreams won't come true. Um, something greater will. I'm on the road to recovery. I no longer want to take drugs for my mental illness. I no longer want to take drugs for diabetes. You know, I, I no longer want to take pills for my back pain. You know, I no longer want to take pills for all my pain, all my issues. You know, I'm just sick and tired of just, you know, popping pills. I've been popping pills all my damn life. So it's time for a change. It's time for a change to improve my health. It's time for a change and, you know, get all the help that I can with my health, you know, learn as much as I can to improve my health, you know. So I'm going to start with this video because um, here's the thing. I've been taking Manjaro for about eight, going on nine months now, I think. No, eight months. Didn't take Manjaro and I haven't lost any weight anymore. I'm actually at the same weight that I was when I first started taking Manjaro. You know, I discussed with my endocrinologist that I'm having a hard time losing weight because I'm battling with a food addiction. And y'all, food addiction is real. You know what I'm saying? Like a lot of people that be on these videos, be doing these mukbangs, like I said, I, pre I keep saying it in other videos, but you know, they just messing up their health. This is bubbly. They just messing up their health, you know what I'm saying? And They'll learn. They'll learn once they start getting sick. <laughs> They'll stop making them eating videos and doing them eating shows. But anyway, so I'm at the point where I'm going to try to get off my diabetic meds. I want to do like an experiment with my diabetes, but I'm afraid to do it because I have a mental illness. And a lot of times when you mix herbs with psychiatric meds and herbs with just medication in general, you can have like a bad reaction to them. So I may have to get off all of my pills, but I'm scared to get off my drugs because, you know, I've been taking bipolar medication for a very long time, but, you know, the side effects are just not good. You know what I'm saying? They're not good for me. It's not good for my body. They're not good for anybody, you know? You know, this westernized medicine got people in America messed up, like really, really, really up, up okay? It's, it's crazy that you know, people can be on so many medications when, you know, there's things out here, natural herbs, because I'm taking the herbalism class, herb class, and I bought a book, but you can be healed by herbs. Uh, what's his name? Dr. Savy, the one that got, I'm not going to say it, but, you know, Dr. Savy, rest in peace. You know, he's not around anymore. And it's a lot of things that he healed people from. And I don't want to get into too much detail about Dr. Sabi, but, you know, after looking at him, I got his book right here. It's called, um, it's a diabetic book that my sister gave me for Christmas a few years ago. Um, it's a red diabetic book. I can't re remember the name of the author, but it goes by Dr. Sabi's teachings when it comes to diabetes. But I got educated about the herbs and things, but I feel like I need to explore more about not just diabetes, but all types of like you know, illnesses and things like that. So I'm going to go ahead and share this video. No, I'm going to go ahead and share this book that I just got. And uh, I'm going to show y'all the herb, the herbalism, the herb classes that I'm taking right now. Because my goal is to learn and share, learn and share. That's all I'm doing. So I'm going to start off with this um, book that I found on TikTok. I actually found it on Instagram. Um, let me show y'all the book. Okay, so here we go. Okay, so the name of the book is called The Lost Book of Herbal Remedies. It says The Healing Power of Plant Medicine. All right, so this is it. Um, the author is, um, I guess, is the, the woman that wrote this book. It's a woman It's a woman and a guy that wrote this book. Here it is. Nicole Appellian, PhD. Um, she basically, is, she's a herbalist, and she went to, like, um, Africa and there's studies out there, and, you know, she learned about the herbs out there. She like, this book, this book got, is 306 pages, right? 
is 306 pages full of medical issues and all type of herbs that you can take um, for your medical issues. For example, um, for memory loss right here, we got American ginseng, ashwagandha. Like it's just so much that I, I'm learning right now um, with herbalism. So they got stuff for PTSD, herbs, okay? This is California poppy, Rodolia, Rodolia Rosia. Like it's a lot of stuff. It's a lot of things that I'm learning about, you know, trying to be healed from, you know, my conditions and my diseases and stuff like that. And, you know, just trying to put my diabetes in remission. So this is the first book I got. Um, it's actually by her. And like I said, it's another guy that's um, that actually wrote the book too. I can't, I, I can't find um, his name right now. But anyway, let me go to the next book. Um, well, this is the website right here. Um, hold on. Okay. So this lady right here is still the same lady. All right. Her name is Nicole Apillion. Um, she's a herbal. She's a herbalist and a biologist. Like, like right, like right there it says. Um, she has a website, and if you go to it, um, basically it's some. Um, let me see her name. She has a website. She her website is right here. You can read all about her. Here's her website right here. That's her website. And so it says everything about her. This is her actual website. And she has a class that you could take that's like $39, I believe. And um, you pretty much can learn all about, you know, herbalism and all that. She actually, actually has like more books, okay? And if you pay the fee, you'll get like all three books. And I didn't know that because I found out about her on TikTok or Instagram. I can't remember where I found her on one of them websites. <gasps> Excuse me, one of them websites. So yeah, like the books, you know, it's it's a lot of learning. It's a lot of learning and a lot of times like with American medicine, a lot of times like when you go to the doctor here in the U.S., they don't even care about what you got to say when it comes to healing your body. A lot of times these doctors are just in it for the money. They're in it to get paid. They'll prescribe you pill after pill after pill after pill. Okay. They'll keep prescribing you all these drugs when honestly it's all about eating better. Okay. Um, taking care of yourself, like doing fitness and, you know, working out. And that's where I struggle at. You know, I struggle with the exercising and lately I kind of been eating bad because I've been going to the food bank. You know, they, they give you food that you really shouldn't be eating. Some foods I've eaten, some of it I haven't, some of it I gave to my little nephew, my sister, but yeah, like the foods, the foods are causing all these health problems. Okay. We have fake food in America and it's like expanding all throughout the world you know, obesity is at a high rate, food addictions at a high rate, you know, like food addiction is even worse than the alcohol addiction, honestly, because the food be so damn good, then you just want to go eat more and more and more and more and more. Then you just start getting bigger, 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 bigger. So yeah, it's crazy. So another thing I've been learning, I'm actually taking um, an introductory class to herbalism. This class is actually free. I'm going to show it to y'all. It's through Allison. Um, hold on one second. So this video, I mean, so this class right here is through Allison. It's a free class. All you got to do is search for Allison free herbalism class. And it, it has different modules. It talks about basic herbs, botany, chemistry. And then you have a course assessment. After you finish, you get a certificate. But honestly, I'm at the point where I want to learn about herbs because my friends got issues. You know what I'm saying? They got issues and stuff. And they need help. They need real healing instead of taking all these drugs. Then I'm taking the Herbalist on Teachable. This is a really good lesson right here or a class. Um, then I'm also um, reading this, this uh, blog right here. It says the Healing Garden, Cultivating and Handcrafting Herbal remedy, Remedies. All right. So it says you could get, um, you know, access to the... I guess it's like a, a course on this website right here. But this book right here is like the starter book. <laughs> Once you read and learn about all these herbs, you are going to change your life and the way you think about food. And a lot of people, a lot of people out here that are getting cancer. Like I went on the Patient Story YouTube channel. It's so many people in this, in this U.S. that's getting sick 
they're getting cancer, you know, they're getting diabetes, they're getting all types of diseases. You know, I pretty much go to all my doctor appointments, all, you know, I go to the endocrinologist, I have, I've had a mammogram, you know, I've had HIV tests, like I've been through so many exams going to the doctor, so I pretty much know how my body works and know what's going on with my body, but I have to go to the endocrinologist coming up for my diabetic appointment. I'm going to find out what my A1C is. And um, if it's still going up and coming down, going up, coming down, I'm going to have to either discuss seeing a dietitian, okay? Not a nutritionist, but a dietitian to kind of like, you know, look at the things that are going on with me, my diet. Um, I may have to start counting calories. I don't know, but it's so hard for me to lose weight because I'm on these pills. And another thing that I do want to add is that, you know, I take psychiatric drugs. The first drug I take is... um. What is it? Um, Lamicto. I take that and I also take um, an antipsychotic. I take in Vegas Astena. And honestly, so, um, what is it? Lamicto is a mood stabilizer for people with bipolar disorder. But then I read that it also could be used for um, dealing with depression. But when I did all the research, it said it was mainly for, you know, the mood swings of bipolar disorder. So I don't know if I need to find new antidepressant to take. I know I need to get off the the antipsychotic, the Vega Hefera. I actually haven't had a period in almost a year because I've been stuck taking him in Vega Hefera. And it says that that's part of the side effects or you won't get a cycle. I mean, which is good for me, but it raises your prolactin levels, you know? So it's crazy. It's crazy how that drug works. And, you know, like I'm not taking it anymore. I'm not. And um, I'm so glad that they got a new psychiatrist because... The other one just kept trying to prescribe me over and over again the same the same drug, not even looking to, you know, what's going on with me mentally, just giving me pills. I'm fucking tired. That's for somebody with schizophrenia, or schizoaffective disorder. And I was diagnosed with bipolar disorder. I've been diagnosed with bipolar I've been living with bipolar disorder all my life. I took so many, you know, bipolar meds and stuff like that. So when I went to the mental hospital back in like 2016, the doctor, the psychiatrist told me that I'm schizoaffective. He told me I have schizophrenia. I don't believe it. Okay, I've said in a few videos in the past that, you know, the doctor told me I had this, this, that. You know, I've been diagnosed with depression, bipolar, anxiety. Like, all this stuff now is schizophrenia now, schizoaffective. Like, honestly, I know I have bipolar 1. <laughs> if you look it up and you see the definition of bipolar 1, you will see that it's like an up and down and you get depressed. You know, like, it's... It's very, you have to just look it up and read it because <laughs> I don't, I don't fully explain it right now, but it's a lot for di for people with bipolar disorder. And, um, you know, with the bipolar, you do experience psychosis. So, you know what I'm saying? Even with, you know, schizoaffective, schizophrenia, you know, you experience that too, psychosis. But yeah, it's, it's crazy because they could just diagnose you with all types of shit. Like I got medical records from like a long time ago you know, that says I have bipolar disorder. And then I'm supposed to get the medical records from that same doctor that diagnosed me with schizoaffective disorder, schizophrenia. I'm getting those notes as well. And I'm bringing it to my new psychologist, my psychiatrist to show her what's going on with me because I can't afford to be taking all these meds, getting sick. You know, I'm looking towards my future now. I'm 41. I don't got time to play with my health. There's no games now. There's no games. So, I got to find out what's going on with my mental, you know what I'm saying? Because I think my mental is messed up and it's causing me to have all these food addictions, to be eating so damn much. And I know it has a lot to do with the medication, you know, on why I keep eating and eating and eating and eating. And I'm tired. I'm just fucking tired. You know, I'm on these psych meds. I'm on Manjaro. Like, I'm just so sick and tired of taking all these drugs. And it's just not working out for me. And I need to change. I need to do something different to change my life, change my health, because health is the only thing that you have to survive. So, you know, some people think, of, some people drive fancy cars, you know, live in, live in these big homes, spend money on this stuff that truly doesn't matter. It doesn't matter in life. You know, once you get sick, you can't enjoy the fruits of your labor. You can't. So, you know, my mom always tell me like, my mom was a retired nurse and she would always say, you know, you need to take care of yourself when I'm not here, when I'm not around. You know, I've taught you well so you can educate other people on how to take care of your take care of their health as well. 
And um, I'm actually going to interview my mom on this channel, but that's, that's coming up very soon. Um, we got to work some things out before we, you know, do this interview. Um, she's going to talk about nutrition and health and things like that. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, I'm just sharing my life, you know, dealing with sickness and mental shit. Like, it's a lot. So anyway, thanks for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, feel free to comment below, share your story, share what's going on with you. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.